Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I want to talk to you about estate taxes. Uh, before we get to that though, I want to remind you, if you have questions about this or anything else related to probate um, or estate planning, and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, I have done videos and podcasts before about estate taxes, but it's been a while. So I thought I would sort of refresh um, your memory, talk about them again quickly. And then as always, if you guys ever have questions, leave them in the comments or, you know, wherever, and um, I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, so um, uh, estate taxes, let's start at the highest level. Everybody is subject to the federal estate tax, right? The federal estate tax um, exemption amount. Okay. There are two really, uh, sort of, uh, important exemptions that you need to know when it comes to federal estate taxes. Uh, the first exemption is the marital exemption. That means you can give as much, uh, money or assets to your spouse as you want, and you pay no tax at that time. It's essentially a deferral because when the surviving spouse dies, they are going to have to pay estate tax. The estate tax exemption amount for everyone, all U.S. citizens, green card holders, things of that nature, uh, uh, right now, uh, and this is 2022, is $12 million and some change uh, per person. Okay, so basically, if you are an individual and you have under $12 million in assets, you are not going to be subject to any federal estate tax. If you are married, you can give everything to your spouse including your estate tax exemption. Um, that The ability to do that is called portability. When your spouse dies, you check a box on a form and you can give your spouse your estate tax exemption. Portability. So if you're married, really you have $24 million um, before you have any exposure, okay? That number, by the way, is going to probably change significantly within the next th two to four years. Uh, in 2026, that exemption amount is set to sunset and revert back to what it used to be. I think it's going to be around four, four million dollars. If if Congress doesn't do anything, they always have the ability to change that number really at any time. But um, in 2026, no matter what, this 12 million dollar exemption is going to go away. Now, if you are a resident of certain states, Washington included, which is where I am right now, you are also potentially subject to a state estate tax. Washington State's estate tax exemption amount um, is $2.2 million per person. There is a marital exemption, just like federally, but there is no portability. So when the first spouse dies, you cannot give your $2.2 million exemption to your spouse. What this means effectively is when the first spouse dies, everything goes to the surviving spouse. Uh, presumably, when the surviving spouse dies, everything over $2.2 million is going to face some estate tax liability. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. There is a way, by the way, to capture the Washington State estate tax exemption amount of the first spouse to die with a type of revocable trust called a credit shelter trust. Just Google it. Okay, it will explain what it is. I've also made videos explaining what it is. I'm not gonna go into depth on that right now, but just know that there is a potential way to capture that first spouse's exemption amount, all right? Um, when it comes to calculating your assets, all of the normal things that you would think of are included. Real estate is included. Cash in your bank account, stocks, um, retirement account assets. These all count as part of your estate. Something that is often overlooked. Life insurance, death benefits count as well. So if you have $4 million in assets and you have $4 million in life insurance, you have an $8 million estate, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're making your calculations. And, um, you know, if you need some help, then go get it, all right? So that is estate taxes, like super high level in a nutshell. Hopefully that made sense. If it did, if you like this uh, video, hit the like button. If you have a, a place you can subscribe and you don't wanna miss in the future, hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. All right, that is it. Um, as always, I am Christopher Small. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you again soon. See ya.